Hey, so let's talk about the major shift that's going on in the job market right now that I can only describe as a zombie apocalypse. So just in case you don't know me, I'm Dahlia. I help professionals to find highly paid work that they love. And there's something really, really weird going on right now where we're in the middle of a pandemic, but at the same time, as you guys know, the job market, it's shifting. Tons of people are being laid off and it's creating another type of weird pandemic in people's minds where people are actually turning into zombies. So I know that this sounds really, really weird, but um, I've, you know, with my team, we've talked to a number of people over the past months. And what we've realized is that there's something going on in people's minds that are really, really separating people towards this new job market. So on one hand, you know, we have the people who are prepared for the new job market. They're having no trouble getting positions. I mean, if, you, if you're having trouble getting a position right now or you're stuck in a position that's not your ideal one, know that there are a category of people out there who have plenty of job offers and things are going great. Like a number of my clients have actually gotten their best offers ever in this year, uh, this past year. Like this has been career-wise the best year of their lives. So why is it that some people are doing so well while other people are getting stuck in layoffs or they're feeling more and more depressed in their jobs, more and more stuck? Well, the answer is that, again, I don't know how else to describe this, except that there are a lot of people who are being turned into zombies. Like they're getting stuck in the old way of doing things and it's creating a kind of brain fog where the longer, like if you don't catch yourself early enough, once you start experiencing the symptoms, they get worse and worse and the more difficult it becomes to actually snap out of it, snap out of zombie mode and get yourself into the career that you want. So let me explain. What I'm noticing with a lot of people is that, you know, whether they've been laid off or they're stuck in a job that's just kind of, nah, it's okay, it's fine, you know, but it's paying the bills and maybe they're bored, but whatever, they're not really, they don't have that clarity on what they would do, would do the, instead. And anyway, it doesn't seem like there's that many jobs out there, so they feel like they might as well just stay where they are. So what happens is that they just start to fall into this limbo mode, whether they're going to a job that pays the bills, or if they're laid off and they're sending applications. And as time goes on, because I, I, there are some people I've talked to at the beginning of the year, and I've talked to them more recently, and what I see is that they just turn into a zombie. They just become like a lesser version of themselves. They lose their confidence more and more by the day. And the worst part is that they don't even remember who they were before, just a few months ago. Or for some people, this has been going on actually for years, that they haven't known what their purpose is. They haven't known how to get that dream job. And so they're just becoming like this lesser version of themselves. I mean, obviously it's still them, but they don't even realize that there's this other version of themselves out there that used to be more vibrant, more excited, that was on top of things, that would never procrastinate because they were full of motivation. Or sadly, some people have never experienced that because they've never had a job they really enjoy. But it's the saddest thing I, I see. I mean, it's, it's horrible. People are just like losing their own brains and you talk to them and it's the kind of thing like, they're just like, well, I'd like to do this, I'd like to do that, da da da. And you're like, all right, so how motivated are you to do that? And they kind of go, well, I don't know, kind of motivated, I guess. You know, this, like, you need to shake yourself and snap out of it. This is not who you were meant to be. You were meant to be someone who is excited, on the ball, decisive, like, that version of you exists, but you need to be able to snap yourself out of it because nobody can do that for you. And what's happening right now is that there is this major shift towards a new economy. Some people are doing great. They're getting more job offers than ever. They're getting more exciting projects than ever. But the sad reality is a lot of people are getting laid off and will not be able to find a new job. Or I mean, you can always find a job, but you know, not necessarily a job that they want, just a job that's for the money. And, um, because, you know, we all need to survive and pay bills, but that's obviously not the kind of job that you want. So if you don't want to become one of those people who's just going through the motions until you hit your deathbed, 
then you need to be able to shake yourself and snap out of it. And I know that it's so difficult because because if you don't have that sense of purpose and you don't have people reaching out to you, wanting to hire you, it is really easy. I mean, the, the loss in motivation happens quite quickly. So it can be really, really difficult to even know what you want, even know what your source of motivation is. You might start feeling like, well, what's the point, you know? But you really, really, really need to be careful with that because once you kind of fall into the quicksand and you fall into that confusion, like you get that, it's, most people describe it as a sense of fog. You just don't know which way to turn. You can't really see clearly. Um, and the, the, the more you stay in that, the more the fog grows. So you need to at least decide that you don't want to be in that fog. Like you're not going to be one of those people who's stuck falling behind right now because they're stuck in the old approach. They're stuck in the old way of job hunting. So anyway, my message for you is do not allow yourself, if you're, if you're listening to this right now, then I know that you're one of the people who refuses to become, uh, you know, a workplace zombie like that is not who you want to be so if you're dealing with any of those symptoms you know feeling like you're in a kind of a fog feeling like you're confused about your direction feeling like there's this new technology out there and the, you don't really you're not really sure how to navigate in the world of LinkedIn and new technologies people are using and all of the remote work or you feel like you just you know you've lost your direction you don't know what the right choice is, what, what is the right path for you to go down and so you're stuck not doing anything or that the old ways that you used to do things, that you used to get positions, they're not working anymore, then what you need to do is reach out to me, I'll see you know what is going on with you, what is really the source of this confusion and I'll see if there's any way I can give you some clarity so that you can get yourself set into the right direction and make sure that you don't fall for this kind of zombie apocalypse and you you don't become another one of these people who's just stuck because the more time you stay stuck the harder and harder it is to get out so reach out to me if you guys need any help whatsoever with this and um and otherwise i will see you on the next video okay bye guys